Welcome. Today I would like to discuss how you can do the object oriented state design pattern with Angular 2 and TypeScript. So let's get started. Uh, basically, uh, what I have is a class called state, and uh, this is, um, I guess, the super class which you can kind of model how your state machine is going to work. And that's a fairly typical pattern is in object oriented design patterns. And what you do is you subclass from that particular state, various states that uh, you uh, are modeling. So for example, I would be inheriting and creating a subclass called work, error, and success. And you can have many methods and many things inside those classes to do certain things. But the main method to illustrate I have right now is just getting the next. So in TypeScript, the code for that, uh, the main class is going to be just state. And it had a public getter called next, and it returns the state. Uh, if you want to look at, uh, let's say, at a success, success is going to be extended from state. And uh, in the constructor, we just have to call the super. That's just a requirement of how you do subclassing in TypeScript. And get next state, it just returns whatever this object is, state object is. And uh, in error state, I'm doing the state same function. It just returns the error state for now. In the work state, which is uh, where I have just uh, kind of my state where I do work, I have to simulate con created certain condition. I'm just getting a random number between 0 and 3. And if the number is 0, I say uh, my next state should be uh, success. Otherwise, if it is one, the state should be error. Otherwise, uh, if normally it should just state should be just current state. It should not go to the next state. And it's just returning the state randomly this function, this class work. So the state service, I have a state service which is going to be using this state uh, class object. And I can show you the code for state service. And uh, basically in the constructor, I would get a work object which is of this type subclass. And uh, whenever uh, I'm called get next in the service, I would get the value for the state, call in the next, and from the constructor get the name. In this case, since I'm only interested in the name of the, uh, the subclass that is being called, and that's what I'm doing, I get just the name. So how I'm using this uh, service is uh, obviously in my component here. In my component, uh, essentially, when I have a button which is clicked, I change my variable condition, which is a string, to get uh, in my service the uh, getter for the next, and this should get the next condition. And to illustrate that I'm changing something when these buttons happen, what I've done is in my component, I've created an ng switch condition, and which the switch is success, I print the success message. If it's error, I print the error message. Otherwise, I just print the message saying I'm working. So if you look in uh, right now in my app, for example, here, so you can see it started up and it says it's just working. So if I just click on this button, it should say, oh, it went to an error state, for example, and you can see in the log message it says error, and I click again, it went to a success state. And so that's how you can easily implement the object-oriented design pattern. And Angular and TypeScript do make it a little bit easier to do this pattern. Uh, and thank you for watching this short screencast. And I'm going to, uh, you can search for these and other videos by going to Gaur Associates. And I'm going to put this under Angular 2 state design pattern. And you have a great day.